All right, so today we're gonna to go through the moves that you should get to tune your quadcopter. These are gonna be step moves with twitches, full rates, all kinds of other stuff to really push the PID controller so we can see how it's reacting to our stick moves and set point changes. So then of course, we can adjust our tune. All right. So what I usually like to start with is a nice step throttle punch. And that gives us, uh, you can see the motor vibrations then at each throttle level. And if you have uncertain debug modes, it's kind of nice to uh, be able to see where the notches are and things like that. Next, just some nice, simple one axis rolls. And so a lot of times I'll try to get them both directions. So you can tell if there's anything weird with one motor or another motor, anything like that. Same thing with flips. Just nice, clean flips, one axis. Next thing with y'all, so here you wanna flatten out a little bit, do some stepped, and then some full rate. So you want to kind of flatten out so your camera angle doesn't get all wonky on you. Probably have to, like I said, kind of look up in the air a little bit. So you're going to get a couple of those. Next thing we want to do is some half rate moves. So here we want to just do one axis, twitch, twitch back and forth. And you guessed it, same thing for a pitch. Again, y'all, and we kind of got a couple on y'all already, but we'll do some more. The key here, I think, that people miss, I see a lot, is they're doing, you know, moves like this, which involves multiple axes and whatnot, and it's very hard to tune when you're seeing all that kind of stuff. I want to kind of di differentiate one axis from the other. Now, the next thing here is throttle pump, so we're just going to... punch the throttle, and we're trying to see if we get throttles. Again there, you can see a little bit of yaw. It's kind of hard on this DJI transmitter because the, the sticks are pretty loose. You're trying not to get anything, not touch the moose, just get... You can see I got a little bit of yaw there. I'm hitting the yaw stick a little bit. But you're trying to just get some clean throttle punches and see if you have any throttles, which is when the nose pitches up and down. That's how you're going to tune. That's how you're going to tune the P term on pitch and also anti gravity. If you're punching up and then you drop throttle and you see the nose dip a lot on throttle drop, that is anti gravity. A lot of people confuse that and they think, like, when you see it wobbling on the punch, they think that's anti gravity. That is not. That's the P game. So you need higher P gains if you're having that on the punch out part. Now I try to just get some nice punch outs. See how that looks. So get some full throttle punches, see, if you, see what the vibes are. You can see it's pretty clean. Next thing I want to look at is just some nice steady flight. So I'm going to try not to touch the sticks at all. That's a little breezy today, so let me duck behind these trees. I kind of want to get some proximity to things. And here you can see I'm not touching the sticks at all. I'm just going to see how that looks for steady flight. Final thing is just some prop wash moves. You can do that with that or split S turns. Kind of sit into the sit into it there. You can see I'm getting some wash on this, but I'm really trying to draw it out. Again, the battery's getting a little low here. Um, that's generally it. Those are generally the moves. And I gotta bring this back, 3.4. It's getting a little low. 
So those are the moves you're going to want to try to do uh, so you can judge your tune, especially if you're asking somebody to look for black box for you or you're checking it out yourself. You want to have those independent accesses and look at this stuff. Now the question I get the most then after a flight like that is, well, what am I really looking for? Well, really you're looking for what you just saw. You want to make sure on each axis you're not getting bounce back. You want to make sure that during full throttle punches you're not getting excessive vibrations. You want to make sure that when you're doing throttle punches that you're not getting the nose moving up and down or dipping. You want to make sure when you throttle punch and then get off, it's not wobbling or drifting around in the nose. You want to make sure that during smooth forward flight that it's actually smooth on your HD. If you're not getting these things, there's lots of resources. I have a whole series on how to tune your quad, tune your filters. I'll make links to those in the cards and also down in the video description. There's also a Facebook page for Black Box Review where people would want to see HD and logs. So the logs in HD that you want to give them to help you is of a flight similar in character to what I just showed. That stresses the PID loop and shows independent access control that they can analyze and help you tune your PIDs. A big part of this as well for PID tuning is isolating some of the variables. Again, check out my PID tuning series. Step number two talks about turning off feed forward and reducing some of the advanced PID control components in beta flight so you can isolate things down, get the PDD balance right, get the PDD gain right, and kind of step back through, add in feed forward as was used in that flight, and then kind of get it right one process, one step at a time. PID tuning is not just flying around. It's a process. You have to get the right flights and look at it in a step-by-step -step process. You first have to isolate things down to a simple P and D, taking the I out of the equation, taking feed forward out of the equation, taking TPA out of the equation, get those things right, build on it to your ultimate perfect tune. Thanks everybody, and I hope this helped.